Hey guys, Wraith calling, and this is Hellaborn, and I'm not playing. My buddy Wilkie is playing today. He's in the T71 Lycans tier seven American premium tank with a fancy paint job, very similar to the regular light T71 light tank. Um, <laughs> not a lot of going on, but he does run all premium consumables. This is a tier eight game, and he is a very good light tank player who doesn't get enough credit for when he plays light tanks. And he's going to show us how it is done today. He doesn't do a lot of stupid crap like I do, like bouncing off rocks and stuff. We keep better not over. He's not going to hit the end of it. Uh, so this is before the physics release. So some of the scrolly stuff that light tanks do, uh, you will not see necessarily due to physics. Uh, but I have not watched this replay yet. He only told me he has a fun one to send me, so I figure I would uh, throw it up take a look. He comes up here about midway, tries to a little aggressive spot, gets spotted, a little too aggressive. Squeeze off a few rounds, why not? He's already spotted. Backs all the way down the hill. Goes for reload right away. And he's probably going to go peek up all the way before he gets reloaded. He's going to relocate before he gets too aggressive with the spotting. Cause it always sucks to get aggressive when you're reloading. That's a fatal mistake. You can make with auto loaders. Get a little too aggressive without a, without a magazine loaded. He's going all the way back onto the zero line. Gets spotted again. There's a tank story back there in the background. It's Ramatal Borsig. Can't one shot him, but can make his life miserable. You see, the lichen has got the fancy, cool paint job on it. He's all slick. He needs some spinners and chromies on his wheels here. <laughs> So they know he's here. They are lobbing shots at him. Uh, there is the heavy tank. I don't know what crew skills he's got on this, but no one. But it's probably a fairly good screw, crew skill. He's going to at least have probably uh, six cents, but I would be expected to be at least what he has on, on here. This area. Of course, little cola never doesn't. That little premium food consumable never does hurt anything. He is platooned up, and I did notice he was, who he was platooned up with. We'll find out here in a second. Gonna run down the railroad tracks, but we'll come try to come around this heavy flank and do a little spot in the way. There's an OI. And that would leave a huge mark on the guy the OI's big gun. They are calling out. There is really no friendly tanks in this part of the map except for that lone medium and oops, there it is. T-34 black. Get to load this whole magazine into him. Finish him off. Enemy oh, one more. Good kill. He's gone. Find us another target. P-34s can be dangerous tanks. Their downside is a slow reload, and that guy really overexposed himself without enough cover to back into. He's gonna sit here patiently reloading his magazine. One of the keys to playing auto loaders correctly is knowing when to load and reload your magazine, and then being in a good enough spot to where you can get away with reloading a magazine. So unless you've got cover, the place to hide. Ooh, got spotted right away. And there's one back there. Not too worried about the tank. I'm not get a hit in there, doing. We missed that one shot. Took another shot from the Nass one. That's, that's two thirds of his health. He doesn't want to exchange that kind of fire again. Might have been a little better off backing off and getting away from the Nash one if he fired two rounds. And here comes the OI. Who gets? Picked off by somebody else. He gets taken big hits from the tanks behind him. The enemy knows our location. It's his gun. It's good enough. Maybe. <laughs> Someone else does pick him off. Saves Wilkes. He's ever again. He's going to back off. Now he's on the back side of this hill. We're going to do a reload. He's got friendly tanks making a push in front of him. So he's relatively safe. He's got someone else to engage and take their mind off him. Uh, the town does look like it's a loss cause. The Borsig does spot him right away. I'm sorry, the Nash one does spot him right away. And he's got to be careful, be sure he's unspotted. If he sticks his head back up and he's been spotted, they'll put another round through it, probably finish him off. Uh, probably a two hit from the Nash horn. The Nash horn gun's good, but not that good. And the Nash horn is no more, so it does not work work about the Nash horn anymore. As he comes creeping over this big hill. Friendly heavy there took a hit from somebody. As Ramatal, can't tell if the light tank is there. Maybe another light can sit over there. 
He's gonna rush around. He's gonna fire peek and snipe. This is not a good game for sniper for a light tank. Picks off and backs off the reload. Picks off the Borsig and backs off the reload. Not all light tanks are very good, but this is actually a fairly good light tank if you can position just like that where you can aim down, let the gun settle down a little bit. And arguably between this and the LTTB and the Walker Bulldog are arguably the three best light tanks in the game. All around light tanks in the game. There are some that are better. There are your 251 is a very good light tank as well, but it's a different playing style. The three tanks I mentioned, the Walker, the LCB, and this one, are actually very mobile, very aggressive little machines, or can be. Um, but they're easily adaptable to multiple playing style. Well, this is one stealthy little machine here. And there were a couple other tanks over here, and he's going to come fishing for them. It's a Chaffee, that's what the light tank is over here. He's probably going to focus on the Chaffee first, who does not seem to be paying attention. He is paying attention and is looking for him. Fires and misses, so now he eh, doesn't have to take his time to pick him off. Somebody else beat him to it. But at least SU was paying attention to him. Would have been a nasty surprise to come on the corner and face that big. Couldn't tell if he had the the, uh, the big 152 or if he had the 122, but either way, it would have been bad. He looks a little like it. Locked and loaded. He hasn't done much light tank work, <laughs> but he's done quite a bit of. Hunting and picking off a few targets, so he's racking up a little bit of, quite a bit of damage here for a light tank. And it does happen. On a map like this, is good with all the hills and steep terrain. Uh, it's kind of hard necessarily to get good spots in. Again, he's in a good position to spot. He has been spotted. And I'm sure we're not what's seen him, but the uh, he is back up in the corner. Now he's looking this way, so he's got to be careful he doesn't get shot in the face with a big gun. Japanese navies are known for having big guns. And still spot looks like maybe he already put a round, put a hit into him. Trying to line up, trying to see him through the bushes without being seen. Someone else is spotting him now. Penetration. Still putting hits into him. Two rounds left in the magazine. Is he gonna back off? He's gonna try to. The enemy knows our location. Reloads again. He is throwing his heat rounds. <coughs> he does carry his APCR standard round, so they're very flat, very fast projectiles. And you see, the heat rounds really don't have much arc in them, actually. They're fairly flat, too, for heat rounds. Squeeze one off a little prematurely against the meat in there. I guess he was trying to get the blind shot in there. Japanese heavies camp behind the hill. No one picks off the Japanese. The only thing left over there now is going to be. Don't do it. I was wondering if he was going to throw himself off the cliff. That's a move only I have managed to master. So there, there's still the mutants back there. We're probably going to make a pass at the mutant here. Wait till he gets fully reloaded. He's got his APCR out. Big hit. Now, again, he's not probably going to be able to penetrate the mutant from the front because the front armor of the mutant is very tough. Side of the turret's pretty durable, but the side of the bot tank and the rear of the tank, there's no problems getting into. The mutes may not be able to get into the turn around getting him. Like the rate of fire is like mean through. enough to where he's going to finish him off before he can even get turned around. It's a good game for Wilksy, well played. Let's get the final stats look like. We have 56,000 despite all the premium season down. 3200 damage, good high caliber for a light tank, not so you see very well. And four kills, giving a base XP total. Oh, we'll see. Look at 1800 base XP in a tier 7 light tank. Very good game, very well played. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep your powder dry.